What's going on guys? Today is the very first day I'm making my YouTube video. I'm going to buy a truck and I'm going fishing all up in the Poconos. So today is a very special day. Hopefully you guys enjoy it. Alright, so we went to go get the dolly, and somebody already had gotten the dolly before we got there, so we are going to fish right in front of the sawmill into this pond back here. That's my dad, if you can see him back there. So we're going to try and fish a little bit before we have to go get the dolly when the other participant is going to be back. I really forgot to get everything for my GoPro. I was just going to roll with that, but this will have to do for now. So let's see how this is going to go. fish. That was actually an awful spot to get hooked and that's why it took me so long and there was no release because I was having a hard time getting that out of him so I was trying to get another one and not hook him so ferociously.
Fish in his gullet. You guys can take a see it. I'll come over here and show you guys. He is tiny. Look at that. You see that? Tiny. And he's got a fish right in his gullet. Not a bad looking fish. That's the first time that's ever happened to me. I think this, these worms is about spent because it's all torn up already. I need to invest in some better plastic here to buy bulk. But now we're going to switch back to this frog. Let's see if we can get some top water action down here. Small fish so far, but still about how you catch them. Alright, so it's uh, around one o'clock and it's been five or six hours since we've been waiting to get this tow dolly. And it is finally back there. So we are on our way to get this truck and probably do some fishing up in the Poconos. Alright, so about eight hours later we finally got this truck on onto the dolly after all that pain and suffering on waiting for the dolly. But here it is, it's a 2000s Silverado with an LS3 in it. And that's gonna go in the car at home with the trans. So I'll show you guys later what, what this motor's going into. So it's about 11, 11, 10 in the middle of the night. I just got back home from dropping the truck off at my buddy's house. And I didn't get to go fishing while we were up in the Poconos because it just happened to be that we were up there for a long time because we haven't seen my cousin in a long time. So what it is so hopefully tomorrow sometime I will be going fishing and finishing up this video and hopefully you guys enjoy the rest of the video I'll see you tomorrow all right guys it's about 11 50 next morning next day it's a little late but figured I'd show you what the motor of that truck is gonna go into and it's uh, my 91 Corvette that I traded my 1979 Trans Am for uh, I crashed it not too long ago, about two, three years. Um, it's got street tire proxies on it, repainted, drilled and slotted rotors, um, stripped interior, race seats, uh, no, no, no door panels at all, um, 150 shot of nitrous on it. It's a wet spray, not hooked up, but that's going to wait for the new LS motor to come in. Um, but yeah, this is this is what the 6.0 is going to go into with the 4L80 transmission. It's still going to be automatic because automatic is a whole heck of a lot faster than standard. But this is the up and coming project that you guys are probably going to be seeing more of. And if you like this, let me know how you want me to do this. Let me know any recommendations you want to do. But this is that. Just the, the old man's Challenger in there, the boat USS Challenger, and then this this over here is the daily 2017 WRX. Not too decked out. Um, really, really dirty. I'll, I'll do a review on this. If you guys want to see that, let me know. And um, so probably gonna go we as in my dad and I are gonna go back to that sawmill to the one pond that I didn't go to which is apparently overgrown and I'm gonna bring bring the machete and clear out some bushes and stuff it's probably gonna be a topwater frog kind of day because it's really really overgrown there but there might be some monsters in there we'll find out 
walking back to this spot, it's kind of creepy. All the abandoned dog kennels. Definitely hasn't been anyone back here for a while. A couple of abandoned houses. Lots of different paths. Not sure what to expect when we get back here. Haven't been back here yet. He has. That's why we're bringing a bunch of stuff to cut some foliage down and whatnot. So I'll see you when we get there. I don't know what they were doing back here. It's pretty in the middle of nowhere. Really kind of creepy back here. There's an old bill, like abandoned building. I don't know the last time somebody was actually down here, but there's the pond. You can see it now. All right, guys, finally made it to the spot. Had to clear a little bit out so I could actually cast and stand and do something with my life here. Found a boat that I would like to get out, but kind of looks like a pain. But here it is. You can definitely hear a whole lot of action going on over there, back in that corner. But we'll see how this goes. All right, I'm gonna roll with this white frog for now. Probably gonna cast it probably out towards there. Let's try and catch something for you guys here. Nice, nice, nice little bird's nest already. Sounds when you keep your rods in your car and they get a little hot. This is definitely a frog in area because a whole lot of sludge here. Look at that, already covered. Whew. Wow, made it all the way to the other side, which I didn't think was that far, and got it in the tree. That was a good one, Dan. Good one. Right. Try and get some action going on here. Got a whole bunch of sludge on the top of my rod already. Hear that? Oh, I gotta get I gotta get that off of there. That's rough. Look at that. Wow. There's definitely somewhere to come in the spring where it's not gonna be overgrown right away. But there's definitely fish hitting stuff on the top of the water. That's better. Ew, just flew off my rod. I don't even think anyone's ever actually fished back here in years. See, this would be the time where something actually bites my stuff when I'm trying to get this awful bird's nest out. Do you see the green sludge in there? That's that's wonderful. That just brightens my day. But it's gonna stay in there. I'm gonna let it get all nice and moldy and smelly. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if you guys just saw that. They're go they're going after the dragonflies here. All right. This place is just covered in stuff, so I don't know if the Cinco Worm's gonna actually work here. I don't know if I'll have to switch to a smaller frog or what. Because they're definitely hitting top water. Because they're just going after these dragonflies. Should have brought. Alright, I'm walking back up to the sawmill now. Alright, guys. So today wasn't the best day at fishing at all, really. I lost one fish. Didn't catch any. Um, lost the uh, 
two two hooks, two bullet weights, and two worms to stick some branches in the water. It's the name of the game, I can tell you now, but this isn't going to be like this every time I make a video where I'm not going to catch fish. I do catch fish, but you'll have to watch other videos to find that out. So you guys enjoy yourself and keep on keeping on, guys.